This tutorial is going to show you how to access Schoology from the web browser. Now to get started, there is no need to download anything. Uh, we're actually not using the app for a reason, which I'll be explaining in just a little bit. Uh, so you wanna go to the Safari app. That is this app right down here that looks like a compass. Right up at the top here, we're gonna be typing in Fairview dot schoology dot com once you type in fairview dot schoology dot com go ahead and press go Okay, now it may recognize your Google account if you have already signed in to Google Meet or any other Google app. Uh, as you can see, it recognized me here. If it does not, let's talk about what your Google login would be here. So your Google login, as an example here, let's say um, that I was a third grader. So my name is Angela Gerber and my student ID would be 30123. So look at the username here. You can see it starts with the two digit graduation year 30, last name Gerber, first initial A at fairviewschools.org. Um, then the password would be capital F, lowercase sd for Fairview School District hashtag and then my five digit student ID. That student ID is actually found on the back of uh, the student iPad. It's on a white piece of paper where the name is. Uh, there's actually a P in front of it, but you won't be using the P, just that five digit number. Um, and here are the patterns for this year. Um, as long as your student didn't repeat or jump ahead a year, um, most fourth graders will begin with two nine, third with 30, second with three one, first with three two, and kindergarten with three three. There could also be exceptions to if um, there are two students in the same grade that both have the same last name and um, first initial, such as if there's twins or something. Um, so that is the pattern you'll be following. So let's go ahead into Schoology here. Okay, so you can see that we are logged into Schoology. This is the web browser version, and you'll be able to watch my navigating video uh, just to be able to explore it a little bit more. Um, the reason why we're coming in the web browser version, you will see coming into courses for our K-1 kiddos, we're going to be trying to make it more visual, as you can see my li library course I've been playing around with. And unfortunately, any extra icons like that do not show up in the app. So um, that's why we wanna be logging in and bookmarking the web browser version for right now. Okay, so now we wanna make sure that we're bookmarking this website um, so that our little ones can get in on it again. So what you're going to be doing is this icon, oops, right up here, it is the square with the up arrow, the share button. When I click that, I'm going to see right down here, it says add to home screen. That's what we want to be doing. And then it's going to be asking you what you want to call it. I actually have it saved on my um, library course, but you would probably want to do this from your home screen. Um, and if it's not already called, you can just call it Schoology. From there, go ahead and press add. And you'll see an icon that looks just like this that is all saved there. Um, and then whenever the student clicks on it, it will right away take them. They may have to come back in and tap on their name again. And then they will be right back into Schoology. Yep, there I am right back to that same course that I bookmarked. Um, so you could bookmark it right onto the home screen or you could even use your teacher's um, homeroom course as the home page that they'll be um, they'll be coming in on as their landing page. Uh, so that is how to access Schoology from the, from the web browser and how to add it to your home screen.